<laughs> What's up guys and welcome to part two of our video fishing with Captain Mike Meza out here in Galveston Bay. A really good day on the water. If you missed the first part of the video where I catch that monster trout and a bunch of other fish with Cora and Mike, you're not going to want to miss that. So definitely check that video out. But we caught a lot of fish this day. You're not going to want to miss it. So stay tuned and welcome to Texas Redfish Hunter TV. You're watching Texas Redfish Hunter TV, brought to you by Redtail Rods, American made, Texas built, Redtail Optics, and Twang. Add a dash to your beer or snack. Oh, I'm adrenaline right now. How do you not get an adrenaline? Oh my god, you got a nice one on that shirt. Oh, woo! Captain Zane hooked up again. Come on, Zayner. Captain Zane is a new guide on the Red Tail Rods team, fishing out of Galveston, and here he is putting his clients on some really good, solid mid-20 inch trout. Wow. Woo! Oh yeah, that's a good one. Nice trout. That's a good one. Flip them in. There you go, Cora. The color of the water don't matter. Doesn't appear to. That's a nice one. Nice healthy 17-18. Job, Cora. Yeah, little sand trout. Sand trout. Trout mouth. No spots. He didn't look like it was going to be that big. There you go, Cora. There you go, Mike. I don't think I've ever said this trout before. <laughs> That's a nice one. I don't know where my hook is somewhere on this board. Oh, we got, we got way more than enough episode now, huh? <laughs> I got two episodes now. Oh, man. I was going to put on some pack, but look at that. Guts are out. Oh, yeah. Yep. Ha, ha, ha. 
I got so excited. She had to laugh. 1980. That was a solid hook up there. So what happened was our first drift through, we missed the spot we wanted to hit. So we repositioned. Right when we repositioned, we came on another drift back through, hit the exact spot we wanted, and it's been bam bam right on top of that spot. That's why you need a good guide like Mike, who knows exactly where these fish are going to be holding. Because we missed it by probably less than 100 yards, 50 yards, and no, no fish on a, on that one drift. But got on the right spot, and there's already been a couple in the boat. And definitely a lot of bites. So. Why is it that I'll be right next to you? Trout, guys. I need to get me a croaker fish. Jeez, killing me. Fishing right next to me, and you're catching. That's what I get. All right, guys. That was the last drift that we were gonna do for trout. We're gonna go try to find a couple redfish right here, right before midday. Uh, see if we can't find a couple redfish before we head in. I can't go on a trip and not go redfish, and so we're gonna round out the day finding some redfish. Cora was the first one to hook up, and it was with something that we definitely didn't expect when throwing a pop and cork and shrimp. Set that hook, Cora. Oh my god, what the hell is that? It's a redfish. Look at this fish come flying out of the water. It looks very tarpon-like right here from a distance. I was really pumped. I knew this wasn't a redfish. It took off and started peeling line and to the left, something that redfish definitely don't do. But man, I knew this was a big fish. Like a tarp, that's all I'm gonna say. Huh. I thought that was a lot of jump. I was like, er, no, I saw it. 
as soon as it came, as soon as it splashed, I knew it wasn't a red. And then I just saw his, oh. I saw his tail, and it almost looked like a wow. There's a black tip, everything. black tip shark on a popping corn. I like that. As you can probably tell, the wind really picked up, which has basically been the norm for the Houston Galveston, and pretty much the entire Texas coast. It's been really windy lately, but it kicked off the redfish bite really nicely. Finally got him. Magical bait. The last shrimp. Big red on the last shrimp. What do you think? Get your episode of Keeper Red <laughs> Hey, I just like catching reds. I don't care where they are.
Do you need the net or no, Andrew? Let's get him in so we can take a picture. Finally, man. You think we can call it a day at that? Yes, sir. All right, guys, that's a pretty good way to end the day. That's what I'm going to say. What do y'all think? Pretty good end of the day? Not keepers, but there's still a whole lot of fun. You guys got to come out here with Mike and do this. All right, guys, so that is going to do it for this episode of Texas Redfish Hunter TV. Special thanks to Captain Mike. This is Mike Metza. Have anything to say? Give me a call. If you want to go out on a fishing trip, 281-904-6925 or www.galvestonbayguideservices.com. I'll leave all that information in the description so you guys can check it out. Come fish with him down here. Hey, if you've only got like three people and you want me to tag along and film, let him know and I'll come along. <laughs> he said he won't fish. I won't fish. I'll just I'll That's film y'all. <laughs> I might throw one or two cats. But anyway, definitely come down here and do this. Get you some fish. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Subscribe if you're new around here. And I'll see you guys next time.